let's talk about hybridization. And we'll use the example in, in methane, CH4. So if you um, look at, okay, carbon has six electrons, and we draw the orbital diagram for carbon, we have the 1s orbital having two electrons, your 2s orbital having two electrons, and then you have three 2p orbitals. And that's what you get. Now, how does how do how do those four valence electrons form bonds with four hydrogen items? So, you know, there's four of these, and each of them have one electron in the 1s orbital. <clears throat> so you might say, well, maybe this electron one of the 2s electrons gets promoted and then now you can have four covalent bonds one right there being shared one shared there another one shared over there between the p's from the carbon and the and the s's from the hydrogen and that sounds okay but then the question is well, how do you explain methane, which looks like this? We know that it has four identical carbon hydrogen bonds. In other words, you know, each of these bonds are identical. And that's not what we have in this scenario here. We have, you know, we have an S and S bond a P and an S bond, so they're not identical. And the other question is, how do you explain that these bond angles are 109.5 degrees? Because that, that's what's observed as well. Okay, so let me, let me clarify. So if you have, um, so car carbon's in, in the valence electrons, they're, they're, you have in the second principal energy level, you have, your, your s orbital, you have your, all right, so this is your 2s orbital, you have your 2px, you have your 2py, oops, and then you have your 2pz going through the screen here, if you can imagine. So how do you use those four um, orbitals in, in carbon, and then hydrogen only has the one S available, so we'll do this in a different color. So it may, maybe it looks like this. Okay, maybe those are the covalent bonds. So there's a bond, there's a bond, there's a bond, there's a bond. How do you arrange these shapes so they're 109.5 degrees? And then and you can't because the S orbitals are just spherical, right? And then you have your P's, they have to go on the X. So here's your X axis. One has to go on the Y axis and one has to go on the Z axis. And so when you do that, these, these angles are 90 degrees, right? And they, they're not, they're not 109.5. All right, they're not. <clears throat> so that's where a uh, hybridization comes in, which is used to explain these bond angles. So what's going on is that um, if you draw the orbital diagram for carbon, let's just do the valence. You have 2s, and then you have your two p's like that. Uh, what's going to happen is these valence orbitals are going to mix. They're going to form four hybrid orbitals, okay? And so they're going to, because you have four orbitals, after you mix them, you still have four orbitals. Uh, rather, you know, there's, there's going to be 75% P character because there's three P's and one S. <clears throat> and so this is, if this is energy, okay? If this is energy, then this is um, 
these are four oops <laughs> two second principal level sp3 hybrid orbitals so these these four orbitals are hybrids of mixing those four orbitals and so you have four two sp3 orbitals all right let me just take the two out there all right so these are sp3 hybrid orbitals okay and so uh, what, what carbon will have are four identical orbitals now now because you have these four identical orbitals and so this is what it might look this is what it might look like you have your you have your p orbital plus your uh, s orbital to get one of the sp orbitals it might look like this okay so you know this is this is going to look like there's one sp3 orbital all right and there's a try to draw this there's another sp3 orbital there there's another sp3 orbital coming coming kind of out of the screen and then there's another sp3 orbital there kind of going behind the screen so these are all um you know those four right there well that explains that explains it because hydrogen only has that one s orbital okay and these are your these are your h's well that makes sense now right these are your two electrons in there you know it's being shared that explains the bond angle 109.5 because now you have four identical um, orbitals so here's the here's the key takeaway <clears throat> and, and this is this is the one thing you, you, you don't want to um, and by the way these are called degenerate orbitals uh, degenerate orbitals mean they they're just in the same they have the same energy level they have the same energies right that's what degenerate means so you might you might come across that all right so what's what you want to take out of this is very the, the uh the point all right if you need um equivalent tetrahedral orbitals then that central atom has to be sp3 hybridized all right you need sp3 hybridization all right so just remember that when you need 109.5 degree angles or tetrahedral orbitals then then the central atom is going to be sp3 hybridized